Hi and welcome to my new video and if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. I upload watch related content, so thank you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set the time and date on the DW5600, uh, the classic G-Shock. Uh, from the standard timekeeping mode, simply press the upper uh, left button, that's the adjust button, and the seconds should start blinking. blinking. Now you cannot set the exact value of seconds, but what you can do is reset that value by pressing the upper uh, right button. So we reset it to zero. Pressing the mode button will move the blinking to our value and uh, you can, you can uh, set the our value by pressing the upper right button. So we can shuffle between that our value. In my time zone it's 18 uh, o'clock. So let's go there, and uh, when I'm there, I'm going to show you how to switch between uh, 12 hour and 24 hour time format, and that's in pre uh, you, uh, done by pressing this button over here, and you will see the uh, PM indicator shown on this, uh, on this on the digital dial over here when it's in the 12 hour time format. When I press it again, it will return to 24 hour time format. Next press of the mode button gets us to setting the um, uh, minutes value and uh, to set the minutes value you can again press the upper right button to shuffle between that value. Uh, pressing and holding it will start fast scrolling the uh, minutes value. So I will get it to 59. Okay there it is. Next press of the mode button gets us to setting the um, year value and you can scroll through that value by pressing the upper right button so the 20 indicates for 2020 uh, uh, basically this, that's the year so not, i'm not going to change it but uh, you get the principle next press of the mode button gets us to month setting and you can uh, again uh, shuffle between the value of month by pressing the upper right button so i'm going to get it to 11 because because it's November. Next press of the mode button gets us to uh, setting the day value and today is the 6th of November so there is no need for me to change that but if I would like to change it uh, then I would press the upper right button and it will scroll through uh, from, z from 1 to 30, 31 so you can set the exact value. Once you're done with all of your settings simply press the adjust button once again and the watch will implement all of those settings and will get you back to the standard timekeeping mode. Once again, thank you very much for watching um, and uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more watch content. Thank you.